while growing up i was told lots of lies that right now i find it difficult to live with the truth hi guys good morning good afternoon good evening it all depends on where you're watching this lovely video from thank you guys for always coming back to watch my videos i appreciate god bless you so without wasting much time let's just get right into this video so as you can see for the title i'm here to share with you guys lies i was told while growing up i don't think it's good for parents for adults guidance whatever whatever you are to lie to someone that you know you are older than just because i don't know your reasons it's better you say the truth and allow that child to live with the truth so the first lie i was told while growing up excuse me was constellation if you look at where i have these side boards or side hairs whatever they call it i was so question if you don't remove these hairs now that you are still young out when you grow older you will turn to a man yeah someone actually told me that and i believed i was so scared and in case you are in my league or we have this together it's not very makes us beautiful do you understand so don't do anything to eat <laughs> so the next lies i was told or probably say we told was don't ever swallow an orange seed if not to grow on your head how do, did we how did we get here like how did we believe that and we actually believe this whenever you are taking oranges or orange you are so careful and so mindful not to swallow the seed oh my word and for those who told us this lies we the younger generation we need to gather hold a meeting to know if we are going to forgive them those people that came up and told us that nigeria and india played and it was actually 99 one i mean 99 zero like why why did they are we just lived till today i still say it nigeria and india 99 one when the internet Nigeria about to go and score the football automatically turns into a stone we need to gather after this video to think and to plan if we are going to forgive those people that came up with these lies how about now this lie is choked now if for the next lie that we were told or i was told was do not touch a lizard if not your skin is going to be like that of a lizard like like how till today i'm so scared of touching lizards like i don't think that's why i'm so scared of any kind of incense in, insects animals either creepy whatever because of i agree with that so the next slides i was told was if you eat a bar and you don't wash your hands rats will come and eat your hands our by uncles and aunties thank you thank you we grew you guys you guys, you guys would have just told us that it's good it's hygienic it's more healthy to wash your hands after eating that for you to say if we don't wash our hands after eating a bar these rats we come and chop up our hands. Our biases are good. Thank you. Eh? At least you've passed your message, okay? Thank you. But, but, as in, <laughs> if you know you fall in these categories or you heard any of these lies mentioned here, just write it down in the comment section and let's have a discussion and a meeting on what to do or how to, or to decide on what to do to this. Our cousin artist that told us all this. So, the next one I was told, the next one that I heard was, if you eat chicken it will be doing kukuruku in your stomach oh my word oh my days oh my day no no boy cool auntie thank you she you eat our chicken successfully shabby shabby <laughs> so the next slides i was told or i heard while growing up was if it's raining and it's sunning at the same time they will say a lion has just given birth to its scoop. Like, like a lion has given birth to rain before sun they shine. Like, did you hear that song? Did you go in, did you grow up singing or hearing that song? Whenever it's raining and it's sunny, either you say it's consciously or consciously, you just be like, ah, lion de bush or monkey de bush. They got us there, right? <laughs> So the next one is did you ever grow up hearing Ojuju oh, Kalaba Oyo oh, Yo Oyo oh, Yo Yo? Yeah, I heard that. Whenever you're crying, and the easiest way or the easy way for them to make you keep quiet is Ojuju oh, Kalaba is coming. You, know? you want to just come and bite you. I don't think I ever saw that Ojuju oh, Kalaba. 
did you in case you saw it write it down in the comment section please please don't ever sing that song to your child or to your kid or did you calabar yo 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 don't don't so the next slide or last thing i had while growing up was i don't know this one is popular and it's so unfortunate that most parents are saying it to today don't touch or don't hug a man if not you will get pregnant i don't I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. It made us so scared of guys to have more of female friends than male friends. I think I think our eyes got to open why we started going to boarding schools, universities, and all those. Once you start seeing your period, before the over start telling you on how to change your sanitaries and whatever, they'll be like, "Don't hug a man or a guy. If not, you'll be pregnant and you'll be so scared." Just be careful. And please don't ever tell doubt to your female child. Don't. So the next lie or the next thing I had was Madam Coin Coin in boarding school. Madam Coin Coin in boarding school. I don't know. I don't. Maybe we're just imagining things. Or did you ever see the Madam Coin Coin? Because I never saw her. Because I, but I heard of it. Madam Coin Coin. Madam Coin Coin is coming. Oh God! I don't think boarding schools are like that again today. So the next lies and this lies is the biggest and the greatest of them all. Read your book oh, so that you will get conscious and have an easy life. Read your book oh, so that you have A's, B's and get a very good job and have money. <laughs> Hello, those people that were covering their books during the exam. Uh, where are you guys now? Those people that they know the questions when you ask them, they don't want to talk because whenever they talk, they say the answer will fly out or what they've read will escape. Where are you guys now? Oh, my what? Like, I don't understand. Sorry, I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing. It's good. Read your book, go to schools, and then you learn a skill. I think that's what they forgot to add. Money doesn't just come by reading your books, okay? Money doesn't just come by having your results, okay? Money comes by hard work, excellence, and above all, by God. Like adulthood not scam. Adulthood not scam. Oh. Adulthood not scam. Josh Sufoli said it in his, <laughs> in his remix song. Like adulthood. Adulthood. Hello. Mm. So guys, this brings me to the end of today's video. I literally had fun doing this video. And if you know you did, please eh, like engage me by, in my comment section. Like just tell me if you know you were told any of these lies. Or if you know you were told a lie that maybe I didn't hear or I didn't write down. I didn't say. Please just tell me. And I'm going to pin that, that lie or that statement or that words or whatever I will call it. In the comment section, everybody that's coming to my comment section will also see it, laugh, and we'll just have fun. So, guys, I'm sure they were just not these things for one reason or the other. Maybe not necessarily a lie like them, but was a lie. <laughs> so, guys, thank you so much for watching my video. If you're not watching at this point, I love you so much. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, tell the friends to subscribe to my YouTube channel. So, we'll see you in my next video. Bye.